Here we are in section 1.3 exercises with the answers solutions to numbers 22 through 47. It says translate the following into math. All right, so we'll use variable and J, John is, that's the equal sign, five years older than Maria. So J equals five plus M. All right, Chris. Chris is, will be, that's another way of saying it equals 17 years older than twice Charlotte's age. So that's K equals 17 plus twice Charlotte's. Good. Number 31, the length, so there's our L, is, there's equals, 7 more than, that's plus, twice the width. So that's 2 times W. So L equals 7 more than twice the width. All right, what about number 32? Radius is five less than, but remember with the less than, the five has to go that way, and this guy has to come this way. So four times the height. So radius is five less than four times the height. So we started with four times the height and then subtracted five. All right, number 33, length is twice as big as the width, so 2 times the w. So L equals 2w. I like that. Number 34. There are 5 more quarters than dimes. So the quarters are 5 more than the dimes. That's a hard one. There are 5 more quarters than dimes. So the quarters, oh, quarters have to be the dimes plus 5. And make sure that's, that's a hard one. There are five more quarters than dimes. So when it says there are five more quarters than dimes, that means that the quarters are five more than the dimes. All righty, that's a tough one. Quarters, five more than the dimes. Now, number 35. Twice the number of nickels, so that's 2 times n, is equal to 3 less than, but the 3 has to go over there, the number of pennies. Alrighty, so twice the number of nickels, that's 2n, is equal to 3 less than the number of pennies. So the number of pennies minus 3 is going to equal 2n. Excellent. Number 36, the circumference, that'll be c, of a circle is equal to pi, oh yeah, there's the symbol for pi, times twice the radius. So the circumference of a circle is equal to pi times twice the radius. Ha, huh, that's our formula, 2 pi r right there. Okay, number 37, the area of a triangle is half, that's one half, of the product, that's timesing, base and height. So we take base times height and one half of it, or divide by two, is where we get the area from. Cool. Uh, number 38, there are twice as many children as adults. Okay, so how many, there, the children are a lot more, and the children are equal to twice the adults. So that's a hard one. There are twice as many children, again, this is, let's do it like we did with this red one up here. Twice as many children as adults, that means the children have to be two times the number of adults. That's a tough one to think through, but yeah. Uh, double check that that makes sense to you, that if you have like five adults or twice as many children as adults, there'd be ten adults. I mean, ten children. Five adults, ten, two times five would be ten children. Yeah, so that makes more sense. All right, there are four times as many horses as cows. Again, the horses are the larger number here. So four times as many horses as cows. So horses are four times the number of cows. Yeah, that's those are those are hard ones to think through. Four times as many horses as cows. So the horses are four times the number of cows. All right, the sum of the number of pigs. So sum is a plus sign. So you're going to add the number of pigs, which is P, and the number of chickens, C. So that's P plus C is equal to 17. There we go. Number 41. A number, N, increased by 30% of the number. That's 0.3 of means times the number n is equal to 75. So the number n plus 0.3n, that's increased by, oh, I didn't write that down, that's a plus sign, increased by 30% of the number is equal to 75. 
All right, number 42. Twice the difference between Mark's height and Nick's. Okay, so we've got to take the difference, which is subtraction, between Mark's height and Nick's height. So that's Mark minus Nick. That's the difference between Mark and Nick's height. And we're twicing that two times. That's a two times the difference between Mark's height and Nick's height is equal to 33. Oh, that's kind of cool. All righty, number 43. The price of a jacket is equal to, so price is equal to uh, 5 less than, so that's a minus sign, but the 5 has to go over there, 5 less than 20% of a speaker system, which is 0.2 of, that's times, a speaker system, S. Yeah, I don't like S's, but I'm going to use it anyway. 0.2 s for speaker system now that's not a five that's an s 0.2 s minus five is the price of the jacket all right so um a price decreased by 15 percent of the price so a price decreased by 15 percent of the price again that's 0.15 times p is equal to 250 dollars right on okay great well, we got through all those translations. Now we're going to translate and do some finding. So I have a rectangular sandbox. So we have a rectangle, and we're going to be doing its perimeter. That's good. So th whose length is 4 more than the width. And it says the width is 12 feet. So you can take this 12 and put it right in there. That means the length is 4 more than the width, so the length is 16. What is the perimeter? And perimeter is 2L plus 2W. Now we know that the L is the W is 12, so it's, this is 12 in here, and the length is now a 16. It's four more than the width. So we translate that, stick in what we know, and shazam! 2 times 16 is 32, plus 2 times 20, 12, which is 24, and that gives us 56 feet. 32 and 24. Excellent. So number 46. The radius of a cylinder is 4 centimeters. Okay, so R equals 4 centimeters. The volume is what we're looking for. So I'm going to write out here the volume equation. Volume equals pi R squared H. So we know what R is. That's great. So it says the height is 3 less than so less than is a minus, but remember this guy goes on the other side. So minus 3 from twice its radius, 2r. All right, so now we know that the radius is 4, so we're going to stick this guy right up in here. And 2 times 4 is 8 minus 3 is 5, so the height is 5 centimeters. Look at that, 3 centimeters less than twice its radius. So now we can stick everything in, pi times... Uh, 4 squared times the height, which is 5. 4 squared is 16 times 5 is 80 pi. And if we stick that in our handy-dandy calculator, we get 80 times pi. I guess I could have just pushed 80 pi, huh? And we get 251.33. 251.33, and that's volume. So we are in centimeters cubed. Okay, and the last one, number 47. The base of the triangle is 3 yards, so base equals 3. The area is what we're looking for when the height, so that's h, is 4 more than, so that's a plus sign, 3 times the base, 3 times the base. And we know that the base is 3, so we're going to take this and put it right in there so that the height is 4 plus 3 times 3. 4 plus 3 times 3, that's 4 plus 9, is 13. The height is 13. So the area of a triangle, the formula is 1 half base times height, and that's going to be 1 half the base, which is 3, times the height, which is 13. So we end up with Three time, one half times three times thirteen is thirty-nine point five. Now notice we found an area, and we're in yards, so this is yards 
squared because it's an area. Cool. There you go.